Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I love indie and affordable makeup. So if that's what you're into, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started on today's video. All right, you guys. So I'm sure you've seen that viral latte makeup. It is everywhere you look. So I figured, you know what, let's go ahead. Let's give it a try. And what better palette to do that with? Then the Juvia's Place, the coffee shop palette. I mean, it's a match made in heaven, right? So here's the inside of this palette. It is just absolutely stunning, and I feel like it has exactly what we need in order to get that viral latte look. And this is going to be my take on it, so it might be a little different than what everyone else is doing, but I'm going to do my best to kind of try and like stick to the rules and do what I've kind of seen other people doing. I was actually trying to figure out, I'm not sure if like most people are using like a shimmer in theirs, but you know, like I love shimmer, so I might have to put like a little bit of a shimmer somewhere, but um let's just go ahead and get started see how the look turns out hopefully y'all will approve with my final look and of course I didn't really think this over too much I just saw this palette in my stash and I was like this is perfect and I wanted to pick something that most people would have access to like this palette is still for sale I think it's like $25 um and I believe it's still on sale on Ulta's website and Juvia's Place as well so Easy to get your hands on it, affordable, beautiful, what more could you ask for? So these shades don't have names, so I apologize, but I want to go ahead and I kind of want to start with this shade right here. Just to kind of get that, um, that crease defined a little bit. And you guys, I'm so excited. Like, I know I mentioned a couple videos ago that I went to a local uh, small town, went to some shops, and I was going to be doing a blog on it. And my blog is actually doing... Okay, for me, it's doing well. Like, I'm not a professional blogger by any means. It's just something I enjoy doing. It helps me satisfy my uh, my creative... What is the word I'm looking for? My... I don't know, the creativeness that is inside me that I normally don't get to satisfy or explore much. I mean, yeah, when I do my videos, you know, but that's only on weekends. And so, yeah, I do go out to places and try and take pictures on weekends because that's really the only time I can do it. But I work on my blog throughout the week. So it kind of gives me something when I've had a rough day at work, which is pretty much every day, Monday through Friday, uh, I can come home and just have something to work on and kind of put my energy towards instead of just focusing on how overwhelmed or stressed out I am. And it just makes the days better because I know when I get home, I have something that I can work on that makes me happy. And that is so, so, so incredibly important. Like for the longest time, I was just ignoring what I needed in order to be happy because I was just so overwhelmed with it all. And I definitely feel a difference in myself my confidence level I just I feel like I'm starting to get the old Ashley back and it's it is way overdue but that's kind of but in order to do that you know I have to put myself first which if you've been here a moment um as Taylor Swift would say like hi it's me or I'm the problem it's me whatever however that song goes but that's me. I have trouble taking care of myself, putting my needs first. I feel guilty for doing things for myself because I feel like, you know, people get upset because, you know, I'm doing this instead of like spending time with them. But it's just, you got to find that happy medium, you know, and when you put yourself last for your whole life, you know, you it's got to change. So it's something I'm still working on, but I'm doing so much better. It just, it feels good. Like I, for the first time, Try not to cry. For the first time in so long, I feel peace within me. And it took way too long for me to get to this point, you guys. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to do the best I can and just trying to realize that I gotta take care of me, you know, and, and that that's okay. And it really is. So if you're struggling to and you're watching this, like, I hope that was like that um, light bulb moment that you needed to put yourself first, take care of you, because 
Um, if you don't take care of you, you can't take care of anyone else and you will slowly start to slip away and that's, that's not a cool place to be. So y'all take care of yourselves. It's very important. Okay, so now I needed to deepen this up a little bit, which of course I have no idea what shade I want to go with. And I'm not even really sure about this brush I just picked up, but let's just see how it goes. So need to deepen it up a little bit. Um, I'm kind of thinking let's go in with this shade right here just to deepen that up. I'm sorry, you guys, I've been so good about turning my phone off and I just forgot. Okay. I swear, it's like my phone knows I'm filming and that's when it goes crazy. And another thing, um, we got some not really good news about my mom, which also is kind of changing the way I'm looking at things. And like, my mom is my number one priority, um, you know, from here on out. Because yeah, the news we got was terrifying. I'm so glad I almost went into work that day because that was a weekend where my boss was just like not leaving me alone, driving me crazy, texting me nonstop. And I'm so glad that my mom was not there alone at that appointment. Sorry, you guys. I didn't mean for this to be like a cry video, but like it's been rough. Um, but yeah, I'm just so glad that I was there for my mom and we could deal with everything together. And yeah, just... <sighs> As long as my mom is still around, y'all, she is that number one priority. She just is, and that's how it's going to be. And I think I'm going to take her with me on my little blog trips because she had so much fun, and it was just, it was just so cool to get that, share that with her and to share something that I love so much, and she just really enjoyed it. So I think she's going to be my partner in crime for my blogs from now on. And again, it's just a really, really cool thing. So, um, yeah. Things are rough right now and they're probably gonna be rough till the end, but you know, doing the best I can. And hopefully we'll just have, you know, as much good time as we as we can, you know, as I can with my mom. So I'm trying to find that brush I started with because I just kind of want to go in with like nothing on a brush and just kind of like blend it out. And you guys, I have no idea where that brush went. Like it is this it? Maybe this is it, maybe not. But I just kinda wanna go in and blend it all together. Oh, I am just like a hot mess. But I have really been doing better, I promise. I know, I'm like doing so much better and then like let's like try not to cry. Life is just emotional, you know? It's just, it is like a constant roller coaster. All right, I think we've got a good start going. So now I want to go in with something a little deeper. So I'm thinking like maybe this shade right here I feel like would be a good latte shade. Also, I don't really drink coffee, so um, yeah, not really. And I'm just gonna put this all over the lid and we'll put like a little bit of shimmer down when we get to that point. And just blending the shade in with the other shades, which looks really, really pretty, like just the way it is. But I just, I want a little bit of shimmer Cause like this palette does have some gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer shades. So I just wanna put like a little bit of one somewhere. Like so far all these shades have just been absolutely beautiful. And they've just been working so well together. I 
I mean, I kind of feel like this is like what a latte looks like, right? I feel like we're, we're getting there. Okay, I kind of want to go in now and work on that lower lash line just because we have like nothing going on right now. So, I want to start with this shade that we started off with um, in the crease. And I just want to gently buff that throughout the whole lower lash line. And then I want to take this shade right here, which is a little bit darker. And I just want to do that on like the outer portion to the middle portion of the eye right there. Now, for that like little bit of, sh I say little bit of shimmer, like we know, we know me. I kind of want to, I gotta figure out what shade I'm gonna use. Cause like these are all so beautiful and I'm not really sure what shade I want to go with. Cause I didn't want this look to be like too warm toned. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it just wasn't really the vibe I was going with. Okay, we're gonna take this shade right here and just put like a little bit of that. And I'm not I'm not gonna use any glitter glue because I just kind of want it to be a little more subtle. And we're gonna put that like towards the center of the eye, just to give like a little bit of shimmer. Nothing too crazy, just a little smidge. A smidge of shimmer. All right, that's really, really pretty. I'm loving how this look is turning out. Just the littlest hint of shimmer. All right, now we need to go in with like a little bit of a lower inner corner highlight because that's just something I always do and I just don't feel right if I don't have that. So, let's try and track down one of those brushes if I can. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized. So for my, just dropped like six brushes for my birthday last weekend. Um, my husband and I like went to TJ Maxx and I actually got a brush holder and it's the coolest brush holder in the world and I it has not made it down to my filming table yet as I'm continuing to drop brushes. Um, so hopefully in the video that I'm going to film tomorrow I'll remember to break it down and I can show you guys because it is really really cool. Okay, sorry for that it's a little... We know I go on tangents sometimes. So for the little lower inner corner highlight, I am just like not with it today. Um, we're gonna go with that shade right there. It's beautiful and it's just so subtle. It's nothing crazy. Did my best to withhold to the um, latte trend. 
rules. I mean, there really are no rules in makeup, so it's okay. And like I said, this is my take on it. I like to do things, you know, my way the other day, the other day, probably like a week or two by the time this goes up, but I did my take on the Barbie look and it's just fun, you guys. It's fun to take things, but then also make it your own. Cause if we were all the same, it'd be boring. Okay, go do my mascara. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and this is the finished look, you guys. And again, this was just my take on that viral latte makeup look that has gone viral. And really quick, the lip that I'm wearing, this is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream and the shade is Memory Foam. It is absolutely stunning. Like I love these lippies so much. They're comfortable. Um, they last very, very well and they don't dry your lips out and they just, they have the most amazing shades like whatever you're looking for you can pretty much find it in in this um smooth whip matte lip cream by nyx so you guys check these out they're extremely affordable i think they're like i don't know anywhere depending on where you get them like seven eight bucks maybe a little more um but they're amazing i love them and we created this beautiful eye look with the juvia's place the coffee shop palette And here is another look at the inside of this beautiful palette. I love this palette. I definitely feel myself um, that I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot more, especially with fall coming up, because I love the look that I came up with. And it's just, it's a beautiful all around everyday palette. So love that. And you guys, remember that you're loved, you're amazing, you can do all the things, just believe in yourself, give yourself some grace. Life is really freaking hard. Um, I'm gonna um, drop a link to my blog um, that I was talking about um, earlier in the video down below if you guys want to check it out. If you don't, I totally get it. I struggle so much with do I want to put makeup stuff on the blog? What do I want to do? But it's like I kind of need to niche down and figure out exactly what direction I'm going with it. So I think I'm just gonna stick to some travel stuff like local to the Midwest until there comes a day when I can afford to get out of <laughs> out of the state of Illinois. Hopefully one day that will happen. Um, but either way, you know, there are some beautiful spots here and I'm just trying to, you know, show those off. So I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. If not, I totally get it. It's not makeup related and that's what you're here for. So you guys, again, just thank you so much for supporting me, supporting my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, commenting down below, subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And that's it for today's video. Have a wonderful morning, day, night, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll see y'all in the next one.